Hi, this is Pia Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report, sponsored by Delta Dot Exchange. Uh, still tired, no time to set up the camera, so audio only today also. Uh, what a volatile market, but market closed marginally lower. Uh, budget day volatility was there, and once again FIAs have started selling. But today again they have sold about two thousand crores. Yesterday only they have bought about two thousand crores. Today they press the sell button for two thousand crores. And luckily, banking stocks have done well. Uh, probably the government was planning to uh, bring down the deficit, so that was a new news. And then media channels said, you know, the interest rates are likely to go down. The bond yield has, uh, will be going down by at least half a percent. So they said that this is an indirect way of uh, reducing the interest rate in the economy. So because of that, you know, the banks that are holding the bonds, so they went up, uh, mostly PSU banks. And today the PSU bank index was the best performing index. And after that, uh, auto index, uh, partially because, you know, the lower interest expectation is good for auto sector. But not only that, Maruti came out with a very good result yesterday, uh, yesterday around closing time. Yesterday itself, it shot up about 2%. And today, it shot up another 4.5%. So taking that two-day, 6.5%, uh, that means one year return. So uh, the same way Reliance also shot up 7% few days before in just one day. So one year return is given by the market in one or two days, you know. But uh, Maruti is understandable because of the results. But Reliance, nobody knows why it went up 7% in one day without any reason. On the other hand, you know, LNT seems to be falling more, you know, in just two trading sessions after the results. Same thing happened with Axis Bank. Axis Bank fell about 8-9% in three trading sessions after the results. So anyway, so given the global queues, and today our performance is not really very bad, but it cannot be termed as a good also. So budget, there is nothing to comment about the budget because there was uh, no good or no bad. It is just a neutral budget, except this uh, fiscal deficit uh, news. So uh, we must be happy if there is nothing negative, but I was actually hoping for some kind of a uh, positive news from the budget, you know, so probably a reduction in the uh, excise duty or customs duty in uh, crude oil prices so that you know petroleum products will be reduced by at least two three rupees so that did not happen and of course so there was nothing negative so no negative is already a positive news for stock market so today uh, bank nifty marginally higher nifty marginally lower so but the significant thing is that the India VIX crashed nearly 10%. Option premiums, both sides have come down. And today morning, the option premiums are so high, even 22,500 call option was trading at uh, more than 100 rupees at some point of time. Even 23,000 call were trading at 2 rupees. So 23,000 call is about 1,300 point away from yesterday's closing. So uh, these are all the opportunities for option writers. So today I'm sure option writers would have made good money. However, yesterday one of my friends asked me for a bullish view strategy. I gave a strategy. If he held on to the strategy until the end of day, he would have made zero profit. Of course, he would not have made loss. He might have made some minor profit, but if he had come out in the middle of the trading session, he would have made some good profit. So sometimes, you know, uh, strategy where there is a buy component. Okay, so as and when there is a momentum dies down, so you should exit. So if you are holding until the complete momentum dying down, so you may not be making some profit. So that was the update about that strategy. The US markets sold off yesterday. And now they are trying to recover and especially 
Nasdaq 100 is trying to recover more. And today, after the market hours, Apple, Amazon and uh, Meta platform, that's a Facebook. So three key companies set to declare the results. So once that is over, I think there also the volatility index may go down just like India. So for the next one week, so there are no uh, important uh, news. Uh, probably, you know, the consumer price inflation data, maybe uh, next week or the following week, maybe a data to look for. And uh, even now, because when Fed chairman has indicated very clearly, there may not be rate uh, cut in March. So even the inflation data, you know, is not considered to be really very important. So overall, our market, you know, uh, it's running uh, everywhere, but not going anywhere. So if you can remember uh, the December series, Nifty closed around 21,700, 750 like that. And the entire January series is over and February series one week is also over, but still we are somewhere there only. So we have not moved anywhere. But intraday or intra-month or intra-week volatility was very, very high. So November and December, there was a huge rise in the market, 3000 point rally and January it is consolidating. Despite being a budget month, February also for one week markets are just in consolidation mode only. So uh, looks like, you know, it's likely to continue until some budget announcement comes. Maybe once the budget announcement, sorry, election announcement. So once the election announcement comes, so then, you know, so the volatility may start moving higher to factor in the election results. So overall, now also, uh, 21,835. Uh, it has crossed today, I think, during the intraday, but not on a closing basis. So keep watching for a closing basis, 21,835 on the higher side. So once that is taken out, then we can think of all-time high. So let us see where the global markets move today. Uh, but FIA selling today, 2000 crore is really disappointing. So they have already sold nearly 40,000 crores worth of shares since January 1 till today. Uh, so let us see how much more they have to sell. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed listening to this audio. Thank you for listening. <music>